Okay, now we will discuss how a monopoly market is going to create the dead weight loss. So the important point in this topic is to understand how to draw the demand and supply curve and also to determine what is the quantity of production under a monopoly market. So first we have to draw the demand curve. This is straightforward and we know that this is going to be a downward sloping line and when the price is reduced, the quantity of demand will increase. From the demand curve, we can also find another piece of information, which is when w the quantity is produced at a particular level. For example, uh, it is produced at this level. Then we will know what is the average price of the product. So this is the average price. But from the producer's perspective, this FH price is not that important. What matters is actually the so-called marginal revenue. Marginal revenue actually represents what is the extra revenue the producer will get if an extra unit of good is sold. So since this is about the marginal revenues, so this curve is actually going to be below the demand curve. So this is the marginal revenue curve. Okay, then another important point for the producer is actually the supply curve or the marginal cost. The marginal cost is going to be a shape like this. This is just because when you increase the uh, quantity of production, the extra unit of cost will be increased, right? So, but remember that marginal cost is also just the supply curve. So this will give a very interesting picture. If this is just a perfectly competitive market or a competitive market, then you will know that the intersection point of the supply curve and the demand curve will determine the quantity of production, right, and also the price. So from here, we will know what is the producer's surplus and also we will know what is the consumer surplus. The producer surplus will be those under this line and I try to color it in red. And the consumer surplus will be those above this line and it is color in yellow. And the total area is the total social benefit or total social surplus. But if this is a monopoly market, where will the producers stop the production? Are they going to stop the production at which the marginal cost intersect the demand? No. The answer is they are going to stop the production at the point where the marginal revenue intersects the marginal cost, which can be represented by this green line. And how about the price? As we have just mentioned, the price will be determined by the demand curve because now the quantity is at this level, so the price will be higher. So from here, we can further determine what is the new producer surplus. The new producer surplus will be the one in blue color, which is under the green line. And you will see that it is uh, larger than the previous area. And the consumer surplus will be reduced to the green area about the green line. But most importantly, we have to notice that actually there is a black region here, which is just the dead weight loss. This dead weight loss is because now the producer try to produce at a quantity that maximize their profits. The profit is maximized because they try to produce at a quantity much lower than that of the market equilibrium so that the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. 